Today we'll be shooting footwear with Shutterstream product photography software. On the left hand side of the UI you will see the image capture tools. I've connected my compatible camera through USB to my computer and now I can control the image capture commands through mouse clicks. I will hit live view and this will enable the live view of what my camera sees. You will see me reach in with my hand and position my shoe accordingly. After I've positioned my shoe for my first angle, I will want to go ahead and adjust my camera settings as I can see firsthand while looking at the shoe on my light table that the object is overexposed. So I can do that through mouse clicks. So currently our shutter is at 0 0.4. Let's turn this a little bit faster. The nice thing about the changes as you make changes to your aperture, shutter speed, white balance, sensitization, as you make these changes, you can see the changes are reflected in real time in the live view window. Uh, we've uh, implemented in the uh, exposure simulation, so it makes it really simple for anyone, regardless of experience, as you can see exactly how your image is going to look before you capture it. My next step will be to adjust my crop marker. I'll enable crop. Now, if I had a specific size, um, maybe I need this image, you know, images for my website at 600 by 600 pixels. I can define my crop at a specific ratio. Um, if I know it's square, I can actually just hold shift and click and drag and you'll see it will retain a one to one ratio. So let's go ahead and make that adjustment. And after we've pre-cropped our object, we simply hit snap. Within seconds, that will capture the image and upload it into the program. Now we can inspect this image to make sure we've created a good high quality result. As you can see, looks great. Now we're on to, next, uh, to shooting our next angle. So I'll enable my live view again. You can see it remembers the exact same crop that I'd previously set. So maybe in my second angle, I want the inner side of the shoe. And simply from here, I just hit my snap button again. Let's shoot a couple more angles. Shooting the sole of the shoe. And then let's let's do a uh, kind of a top down kind of angle by flipping it this way. You can see, okay, perfect. Looks pretty good to go there. Snap. Swift so shot are four angles of our shoe. As you can see, once again, they're uploaded into the thumbnail viewing gallery. What I'm going to want to do is go and edit these images if required. It's not mandatory, but um, since I need a pure white background, we're probably a little bit off white. I'll select my four images using the Xbox and I will hit the editing tool. This will bring us into the Shutterstream image editor. First thing that I'll want to do is inspect with my eyedropper tool. If you watch in the top right corner where the mouse is, you'll see the RGB color value. A value of 255, 255, 255 would mean pure white. As you can see, we're close, but we're not quite there. So what I'll do is make a small change to my levels. And I'll also increase my sharpness. And what I've done with actually my levels tool is gone ahead and uh, adjusted the off white that the background was and made it pure white. After I've made these edits, I'm simply going to hit apply to all. This will actually go ahead and batch process the set of four images. So I make one change, I can hit apply to all, and in a batch process, everything's going to be uh, edited at once. Simply from here, I wish to output my images. I will select the dynamic save tool up in the top left corner. I will name my product shoe. Uh, a couple of options here. What I could do is name them sequentially. So it'd be shoe, you know, maybe dash thumbnail, dash 01, dash 02, dash 03, dash 04. Or else what I can also do, it's a pretty cool feature is I can say, all right, I want shoe and this is side. Then we'll call this uh, the second image, the back the bottom and then uh, last one we'll call the top and basically it's going to use all this information uh, when it's actually saving out the images and basically in my I'd created the profile in the dynamic save tool um, in which I'm going to output each one of these images at 150 pixels wide 72 dpi resolution jpeg format um, also at uh, 500 pixels wide 
and last at uh, 1,000 pixels wide. Note, you can also choose to transfer these directly to an FTP site. You can apply your watermark. Uh, simply when you're good to go, obviously you can choose to where you're saving the save location to. I'm saving them all to the same folder here. I'll hit OK and this will process my images. Once again, resizing, reformatting if required. And uh, simply from here, we are on to shooting our next product. Let's first go and take a look at the results. Scroll through and see our images. Pure white backgrounds, high quality results captured in just seconds. And these are our thumbnails here. And then our last, last images, these are at the 500 pixels wide. So uh, real fast, real efficient, a great way to save time and money when taking product images. We'll do a great job for footwear or uh, really any other uh, you know, products that are required. One other cool feature I would just like to show before we, uh, before we end is, uh, let me just place my shoe back in here. And this is called the image overlay feature. So if I create an image overlay, I'm actually going to remove my shoe. And you can see it leaves a transparent image overlay of a previously, you know, of a previous item. So if I'm looking for consistencies on my website and I want to always position my shoe in the exact same angle, I can do so. So once again, we're placing it at the exact same angle and you can actually save multiple image overlays inside of the program. So if you had your standard four angles, um, you could certainly do so as required. And once again, just looking at this image, once again, high quality result in just seconds. Uh, thank you for your time.